fight day. Uh, sitting in the lobby waiting to get picked up. We're headed over to the Saitama Super Arena. It's gonna be crazy. That's what it's all about. I'm super stoked for this moment and opportunity right now. I do everything I can to make sure I, I get the most out of it and put my best foot forward. Hell yeah. Got all the good nerves, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm stoked. Uh, that's what it's all about. These are the these are the moments that are few and far between that are we put all our effort and all our focus into that really make things worth it. So it's go time, baby. See you on the other side. Well, we did it. <laughs> we fucking did it. End of the year properly. The whole team, Japan top team, three of us. Well, Japan top team and syndicate. <laughs> three of us. We went undefeated. Two finishes, courtesy of those two. You know, yeah, satisfying unanimous decision. Uh, in homeboys home country so <laughs> that's kind of cool what a night oh my gosh it's crazy right it's like four it's uh like 4 a.m right now yeah four ten. Yeah. so this is our midnight snack yeah yeah we're too hungry to sleep and too wired to chill <sighs> to show chill yeah it was crazy it was the first it was probably the biggest audience fences ever fought in so you probably never think so yeah like, like I think you find arenas that big, but they've yeah. never been that full. They've never been full. Yeah. Like, that thing was full from the yeah. opening. Yeah, well, especially down, in the right? UFC. Especially in the UFC, you're like lower on the card usually, where yeah. people don't have yeah, come in they, yet. They, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like different here in Japan. That thing, that place was hopping. I think from the first fight on, it was full, wasn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, oh, it was packed. It was crazy. Oh, man. The, the fans out here really appreciate their MMA just on a different... On a different scale. I really, I was gunning for the finish. I wanted the finish. I'm still upset I didn't get the finish. My excuse for not getting it, I guess. I also uh, feel like, though, your excuse for not getting it, I think the fight was going, with all due respect to Nicoya, like, the fight was going pretty easy for you. Yeah. So, like, it was safe for you to try and mix it up and try something new. You know what I mean? Without oh, being in too much danger. Yeah, that's why I was trying so much crap. To see if I can, like, yeah, that's what I mean. Get it yeah, that's what I mean. But like stuff that you, I mean, you do in practice, but you don't usually do like in a fight. You know what I mean? So I think it was. But a I can. Oh, for sure. <laughs> but I think like it was a good way and a good time for you to kind of get out of that comfort zone. You know what I mean? To like try those new things. No. And it didn't like necessarily end in a finish this time. You were able to pull all of that stuff off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Overall, I mean, I did a lot of what I wanted to. Mm -hmm. So you're doing what I wanted to be doing. Um, he did. He did clip me with something. Had to get. So the doctors actually asked me this. Well, we can stitch that up if you want, but you probably don't have. You may not have to. And I wanted something else to take back. From, take back with me from Japan. So. I told him, yeah, I stitch it up. So they gave me two stitches. <laughs> but, oh my God. Man, it's killing me. It hurts so bad. Got a, just a hard head. At one, like the third round, he started headbutting my fist. That's so crazy. Yeah, literally. Every time I was throwing a punch, he just, he was like, he was trying to Mike Perry me. Trying to, what? <laughs> yeah, that's, so that's crazy. absolutely nuts. I didn't even like notice that. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if you can see, see the video. I don't even know if you can see it on the video, but he was definitely definitely headbutting my fist. That was wild. I've never had anybody do that. What were you thinking? Just motherfucker. So I tried, I tried to fake him. 
so that he'd start the headbutt and then uppercut. And then he started the headbutt and like it just glanced off his gloves. No, all of it was so good. I think you did great. You impressed so many people. At least the people around me were so shocked with your skills. And, you know, just I think what it is too, I think it's I mean, they were really shocked with how smooth your striking is. Like you kind of, you see things so well. And I think it just, people just didn't expect that you know yeah. like i think they always knew you, they knew you were going to be like tough they knew you were going to be strong but i don't think they realized how skilled you are especially for like fighting somebody who's fought fought me rising Miss 16 or 17 times yeah and he's got double the pro experience i have more than double pro experience i have i think like he's just got a lot of uh tenure He's like, yeah. Well, what did you think about that? Like, what did that? How does that make you feel now that like the fight's over? You can kind of be oh, I'm ready. not that you aren't being as though with how your emotions before it's like you kind of feel like. Um, I was glad I could pull it off because I thought I thought I could, but like, <laughs> when somebody is that experience, like, no, I guess I was kind of wondering like, what does he know or what has he been through yeah, that I haven't? Yeah, and, like, yeah, and all that, and I think that that showed for his overall toughness and ability to take a damn shot to the head see looking back my corner kept calling for uh body shots and i, I just couldn't i couldn't pull the trigger on i was just gunning for the head so much i guess it's a uh, i was seeing red no. <laughs> no. Uh, anyways i think there's a lot of good takeaways and i'm super super happy to end the year on the note like that 2023 was a great year for you in terms of outcomes <laughs> Kids of outcomes advice, yeah. But also, just I think I'm hoping that can give me as real like can hit the ground running for 2024 and like, get where I need to be and just do what I need to do for our lives. Really, I'm not 2024 is my big be a big year, and so I think there's going to be a lot more opportunity for you for getting married. I'm graduating college. I think it's going to be a pretty explosive year. Yeah. Yes. You don't see shit. I'm saying. In, in like all areas of our life, I think. Yeah. Personal, professional. It'll be good. I'm excited. Yay. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. Cheers. 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 I don't know why. King. Ah. All right. Cheers. Yeah. That's that. We'll, uh, See you all that is next year. Talk to you later. <laughs>